Hi friends, Dengue Fever. It is also known as Dengue Hemorrhagic Fever. It is a pandemic disease. Let us see its signs, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. In this video, you will learn what is Dengue Fever, its signs and symptoms, etiology and mode of spread, pathology, diagnosis, management and treatment, vaccination of Dengue Fever and prevention from Dengue Fever. Dear friends, please subscribe my channel Venus Academy if you are not yet subscribed and don't forget to click on like button and bell button. Let us see the Dengue Fever. What is Dengue Fever? Yes friends, Dengue Fever is a mosquito borne viral infection. So it is a viral disease transmitted by mosquito bite. Yes, it is. it causes a severe flu-like illness sometimes leads to severe dengue. First recognized during 1950s in Philippines and Thailand and today it is a pandemic. It affects Asian and Latin American countries. Life cycle of dengue virus involves mosquito as a transmitter and humans as the main victim of source of infection. Dear friends, it is very simple. Dengue fever is a viral infection fever. It transmits through mosquito bite that is AIDS mosquito. Let us see. And mosquito borne disease caused by the dengue virus. This leads to symptoms begin 3 to 14 days after infection. Since it is a viral infection, there will be an incubation period. That means if a person is bitten by a mosquito of dengue virus, that virus will enter into the body and it will be incubated for 3 to 14 days after that only the patient will show the symptoms of dengue fever what are the symptoms high fever headache vomiting muscle and joint pains characteristic skin rash friends so there will be a in severe dengue hemorrhagic fever there is a chance of bleeding red plasma leakage dengue shock syndrome dangerously low bp what are the signs and symptoms of dengue fever yes severe flu like symptoms yes and dengue brain bone fever affects all ages friends it is there is no age difference of this dengue fever it affects all ages means children adults and old age people all are affected by dengue virus the clinical features vary according to the age of the patient but then when to suspect dengue fever dear friends once you see a sudden onset of high fever that is 40 degree centigrade or more than 104 foreign heats then go for dengue test severe headache there will be a headache and pain behind the eyes the patient will suffer with nausea and vomiting and there is a swollen glands muscle and joint pains yes friends there is a severe muscle pains dear friends this disease is also known as break bone disease because patient suffers with a lot of pains muscle and joint pains will be there so this disease is also known as break bone fever dengue is also known as break bone fever what else yes friends you will find rash all over the body you will find rash red small patches like rash you will find yes friends and dengue hemorrhagic fever after four to ten days of incubation period symptom last for how many days seven days friend. up to two to seven days there will be all these symptoms severe dengue is potentially deadly complication due to so if not treated well then that leads to severe dengue fever where you will find severe abdominal pain and persistent vomiting, rapid breathing, bleeding gums. Yes, friends, you will find bleeding gums, blood in vomit, fatigue and restlessness. Dear friends, once you feel all these symptoms, go for hospitalization. For the next 24 to 48 hours, the critical stage can be lethal. The proper medical care is needed to avoid risk of death. Once the patient is complaining severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, rapid breathing, bleeding in gums, blood in vomit, fatigue and restlessness, go for hospitalization. Immediate hospitalization is required. Dengue hemorrhagic fever. Next phases of dengue fever, dear friends. This dengue fever usually have three phases. One is febrile phase, and second one is critical phase, and third one is recovery phase. So during febrile phase, phase one, sudden onset fever will be there, headache, mouth and nose bleeding, muscle and joint pains. There will be vomiting, rash over the body, diarrhea. Yes, friends, loose motions will be there. Yes, hypotension. In second stage, one will complain of hypotension means blood pressure will decrease, uh, pleural effusion. Yes, friends, ascites, gastrointestinal bleeding. And what is the third phase? Yes, friends, altered level of consciousness, seizures, since there is a chance of and itching all over the body, slow heart rate. This is recovery phase, it is known as third phase. Yes, friends, etiology and mode of spread of dengue fever. Yes, friends, what is the etiology? Cause of this disease. Yes, friends. Cause of disease is dengue virus. What is the cause? Dengue virus. And it is of four serotypes. It is not one 
dengue virus it is of four types dengue 1 2 3 and 4 and the genus of these virus is flavivirus and family of these viruses is flaviviridae among these four asian genotypes of dengue virus 2 and 3 are frequently associated as friends severe disease accompanying secondary dengue infections the viruses are passed to human beings to the Bites of an infective female eats mosquito, which mainly acquires the virus while feeding on the blood of an infected person. When a mosquito bites a dengue patient, that mosquito takes virus from the dengue patient. And when that infected mosquito bites a normal person, healthy person, that healthy person will be infected with this dengue virus. Usually, this a Egypt eye mosquito bites during daytime during daytime so dear friends please protect your body with full clothing what is the pathology what happens exactly you fever when mosquito bites a person virus enters with its saliva dear friends so saliva into wbc that virus enters into wbc and there in wbc that is white blood cells this virus reproduces inside the cells and comes number of viruses will be increased in response to virus wbc what will do Yes, it produces cytokines and interferons which will hit this virus and uh, this interference and cytokines causes flu-like symptoms that is fever and severe pains. In severe infection happens, fever and bone marrow can be affected and fluid from blood vessels leak into body cavities. As a result, what happens will be less supply of blood to the vital organs. Means there will be no blood supply to brain and heart as well as other vital organs. What happens then there is a chance of Coma. Furthermore, during this disease, it affects even bone marrow. So, in bone marrow, what is produced? Platelets. So, there is a chance of decreasing function of these platelets. These platelets are nothing but blood clotting cells. And already, this disease causes blood vessels leak, and uh, there is chance of platelet counts down. Leakage will continue, and there is no question of clotting. That leads to severe dengue syndrome. Classification dengue in another way friends world health organization in 2009 classified to types that is uncomplicated and severe in severe yes friends there is a dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome or else this hemorrhagic fever divided further into four grades grade one is a simple bruising fever positive tonic way test in some way one with fever this is grade one grade two is the presence of spontaneous bleeding into the skin sphere grade three is a clinical evidence of shock there is a shock be there three and grade four shock so severe that blood pressure and skin not be detected that means grade three and four are referred to as dengue shock syndrome dear friends once not treated during grade one and grade two and it is two and four diagnosis yes friends as soon as patient comes to a doctor doctor will observe symptoms and physical examination of tourniquet friends tourniquet test is done for rash and physical examination and symptoms if the symptoms matches with dengue fever go for complete blood picture here you will find low wbc count low platelet counts when you find this low wbc and low platelets immediately go for igm and igg test elisa test the two test of this igm and igg confirms or indicates dengue virus infection Others you can go for viremia test where this test detects this dengue virus or one can go for nucleic acid amplification test or antigens test of ns1 antigen test and when it comes to igm and igg if it is igm and igg test igg test is positive but igm test is negative means obviously that person was infected with dengue in severe disease what happens yes friends severe disease there is a plasma leakage and this results hemo concentration using hematocrit that means in blood there is a plasma there is no plasma whole blood that is blood cells be more friends and uh, that concentration leads to rising hematocrit and that leads to hypodominia and there will be a pleural effusions or ascites this can be detected by ultrasound ultrasound test yes friends and uh, this identifies new shock syndrome it's about diagnosis then differential diagnosis dear friends when a patient comes with dengue like symptoms or dengue symptoms it is very difficult to distinguish between chikungunya but has to pull out malaria similar symptoms will be there in malaria leptospirosis and typhoid fever yes friends typhoid fever also the high temperature and all meningococcal disease these four diseases must be pulled out by differential diagnosis go for malaria test and leptospirosis test typhoid test and meningococcal disease if you find these tests are negative indicates it's a dengue virus this prognosis is nothing but chances of 
recovery yes friends most people with dengue recover without any ongoing problems if the patient is healthy and suspected with only dengue virus the chance of recovery the chance is very high mortality rate is about one to five percent if however those who develop significantly low blood pressure if patient is into low blood pressure is then Fatality rate, that is mortality rate is very high, that is 26% of these patients will die. This is how prognosis of dengue fever. Let's manage, yes, friends. Are there any specific drugs to dengue fever? Yes, friends, there is no specific drugs for dengue fever. Yes, it is a viral infection, there is no specific drug. What to do? Based on your temperature, yes, you can take paracetamol with doctor's advice. Maintaining proper fluid balance, it is very, very important, friends. Since the patient is suffering with temperature, give proper fluid balance, gives plenty of water to drink. Treatment depends on symptoms. If the patient complains itching and rash, you can give antihistamines. If no warning signs, there is no vomiting, bleeding, can be managed at home with oral rehydration. If you find vomiting, warning signs like here, abdominal pain, bleeding, patient must be hospitalized, especially severe cases must be hospitalized in intensive care unit that is ICU. If that patient will be treated with intravenous hydration that is IV fluids will be given for one two days and the uh, intensive care unit is quite severe cases blood transfusion is initiated early in the case of a decreasing hematocrit. Decreasing hematocrit means already plasma leakage is there so for transfusion what what blood has to be transfused packeted blood cells or whole blood is recommended then the don'ts during dengue fever dear friends during dengue fever it is not advisable to use nasogastric intubation what happens because of insertion of this ng intubation tube may cause trauma to your gastric leads to bleeding in your esophagus don't go for nasogastric intubation what else intramuscular injections don't go for injections because arterial punctures also don't go for arterial punctures be avoided because there is a chance of bleeding at the same time though pain complaints of pain is don't take ibuprofen and aspirin because these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs cause lead to risk of bleeding there is a risk of bleeding already patient is suffering with dengue fever if you take this NSAIDs worse the Bleeding. Use of platelets and fresh frozen plasma are usually not advisable. Previous days, yes friends, it usually used to be these platelets and frozen plasma, but nowadays it is not advisable. It is best to take blood, red blood cells. These are all comes under management. All requires CUK. That means it must be hospitalized as soon as detect the dengue fever. Friends, and what to do? Is there any vaccine? Friends, in 2016, a partially effective vaccine is approved, actually available in Philippines, Indonesia, Mexico, Brazil, Costa Rica, Singapore, Pratwe, and Europe and United States, but it is not available throughout the world. It is partially effective and it only be used, what limitations? It will be used previously infected with dengue infection with one serotype, that is a person previously infected with dengue one serotype person can be given vaccine but the person who is not with dengue virus not advisable to this you sin worsens frequent infections the cost of this is US dollars of 207 dollars Indonesia and there is a three doses are recommended what to do prevention is better than cure dear friends the WHO recommends five elements vector control program what is the vector yes mosquito is the main vector RTC is social mobilization and legislation. Yes, friends, social awareness must be there. And collaboration between health workers and public. Integrated approach. It's based on decision making. Adequate response and prevention. Dear friends, how to prevent? Yes, elimination of Egypt habitats. That means being containers of water by draining out all contaminated water are to be drained out. Adding insecticides and biological control. Go for insecticides and biological control agents and reducing open collections of water. Avoid mosquito bites by wearing full clothing. Dear friends, wear full clothing and use mosquito netting. Dear friends, this is the best way to prevent mosquito bites. Use insect relents to avoid mosquito bites. These are all the preventive measures, friends. Please aware of dengue fever by avoiding mosquito bite. Dear friends, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channel if you are not yet subscribed and don't forget to turn like button and bell button. Thank you.
Bye. Ta-da.